watched my channel you've seen many of the videos that I've done on the UA effects universal audio effects lion 68 super lead amp now that is an incredible amp uh, it's got some amazing tones it's it's one of the best amp sim amp modelers um, I've ever used as far as just one single amp and all of its idiosyncrasies. Um, it is amazing. And um, it brings me back to when I used to play through that style of amp back to when I was in Los Angeles. And, you know, you could argue that you can get, uh, you know, plexi type tones out of a JCM 800. Um, I've owned lots of JMP amps over the years. I've owned Super Leads. I've owned all kinds of Marshall amps from combos to half stacks to full stacks. I, that That is my favorite style amp that there is. And that includes for clean tones and that includes for overdrive. But, um, you know, those amps do have idiosyncrasies and they do have, you know things that I don't like about them. And that's why guys like Dave Friedman, you know, uh, yeah, he's just come out with his new Plex. Uh, but, you know, guys like that took the Marshall formula and kind of figured out what it needed and what could improve on it and, um, you know, make the best representation of that style sound. And, you know, if you're a huge Van Halen fan like I am, um, or Jimi Hendrix, which was really my first real guitar hero, was Jimi Hendrix. And, you know, seeing the stack of Marshall amps and just, you know, the sheer volume and the feedback and, the, you know, just all of that. It, it, it's, it's like embedded in my memory. It's in my DNA. Um, if I had to have one desert island amp, it'd probably be a 412 and a 50 watt you know, uh, JMP, uh, you know, and, um, you know, I just ride off into the sunset with that tone. There are some things, you know, about the Marshall, um, you know, circuit that you could argue it, it needed to be improved. You know, they can be kind of flubby sounding sometimes. They're not as tight as the modern metal amps of today. They can be bright. They can be overly bright. Um, they can be noisy. Uh, the old amps didn't have any effects loops. You just, you kind of just had to just make it work. And, um, you know, we didn't have a lot of options back when I was playing in the late 80s. You didn't have a lot of options even for pedals, let alone for amps. So, you know, it, it, it was kind of like, oh, you got the Fender amp and you got the Marshall amp and then Boogie kind of came along and, and then you started seeing other companies kind of coming in. But, you know, there was, a, there was a period there where, you know, you could get a Big Muff, you could get an MXR Distortion Plus and uh, maybe a Ross Distortion and, and that was the only options for a long time. And, um, 
you know, Marshall amps were the option if you were a rock player. That was, you know, you knew you could get some of those those tones that you were hearing in your head and on your turntable, you could get out of those amps. Now, the Universal Audio Lion is incredible. It, it, the sounds I was able to get out of that and the, all the clips and everything that I got, it, it, it's, it took me back to when I played through those amps and when I owned those amps. And, um, you know, and it was both all the good and some of the bad, but it captures all of that and it does it amazingly well. Um, you know, I got to the point with that pedal where I didn't even bother turning knobs and, and adjusting and, and, and using my ear. With that particular pedal, I found that the presets were what was getting me the tones as quickly as possible that I was looking to get. And that's, you know, the Brown Devil patch was a favorite of mine and the Wind Cries Rhythm was another preset that uh, it was just, you know, that Jimi Hendrix clean kind of plexi type tone. And then the Brown Devil was the kind of the Van Halen, the uh, very act kind of tone. And um, I, I personally could have lived on either one of those patches. And I, I used them for some recording here at the house and some projects that I'm working on. And I really enjoyed the tones that I was getting at it. But, you know, as you know on this channel, I bring a lot of modelers home and I try a lot of different stuff out. And, uh, you know, the Universal Audio Effects line was just another of four or five modelers that I had at the time. And as far as being an all-in-one, you know, solution for recording, it's not that at all. Um, you know, it, it's the Marshall thing. And there's some ambience and some reverbs, you know, that you can kind of get via some of the presets. And that's it. There's no tuner, there's no flanger, there's no chorus, and it, it, there's none of that. So it, it's not an all-in-one solution. It's a solution if you just need martial tones or you just want to have that to get those sounds. And for that, it, it's incredible. It, it really is. And I, I kind of miss not having the pedal, but you know, I had to make a decision. I've got so much stuff and I had to make a decision of what I was going to keep and what I would, you know, get rid of. And I previously made a video about the boss IR2 and, um, you know, I didn't bond with that as much. Um, so I really didn't hate to see that go as much as the Universal Audio Lion. It, it, that, the Lion made me think twice. I let the boss go and I was able to get pretty much full price for the boss because they're hard to come by. But the Universal Audio Effects Lion, I put it up on Reverb and it took a little while to sell and eventually somebody made me a a low offer, but it was the only offer I had and I sold it. So I no longer have the Universal Audio Effects Lion. Uh, I'm gonna miss some of those tones that I was hearing and who knows, down the road, I might end up buying a new one. I might end up picking one, one up used and just and, and keeping it. But for the time being, um, you know, it just was kind of a one trick pony for me. And, um, you know, I like to be able to kind of plug something up and, you know, switch tones and amps at the drop of a hat. And, um, you know, the Kemper was that for me for a long time. But I found that the captures in the Tonex were better. So I got rid of the Kemper, I switched over to Tonex, but I'm not 110% happy with the Tonex. I like the captures a lot and there's some great tones. So I'm going to keep experimenting with that. Um, but the Universal Audio Effects line is now gone. I'm sad to see it go. It's been a big part of this channel and a big part of the growth of this channel. So Universal Audio Effects Lion, I salute you. Um, if you, in the comments, have some opinions on the Lion or think I did the wrong thing, please let me know in the comments. And if there's something else out there that I need to check out, please let me know in the comments. Um, 
If you've enjoyed this video or enjoy my channel, please hit like and subscribe. And always check out the Sweetwater link. If you wanted to get a Universal Audio Effects Lion, hit that Sweetwater link. Pick up strings, picks, whatever you need. Anything you purchase helps this channel out immensely. I'm Bad Brad, and I appreciate you watching my video. I'll see you on the next one.